Medicosis Perfectionalis is back to discuss acid phosphatase, a protein frequently expressed by prostate cancer cells. Acid phosphatase is a phosphatase that works well in an acidic environment. What is a phosphatase? It's an enzyme that dephosphorylates compounds, which means it removes a phosphate group. Acid phosphatase monitors the response to treatment in cases of prostate cancer. Acid phosphatase is not that great to diagnose prostate cancer, but it's kind of okay to monitor the response to treatment. Acid phosphatase can differentiate between B-type acute lymphoblastic leukemia and T-type ALL. T-ALL is acid phosphatase positive, while B-ALL is acid phosphatase negative. Let's turn our attention to acid phosphatase and the prostate gland. The prostate gland, as you know, consists of gland and stroma. These glands are branching tubuloalveolar glands. They are arranged in lobules and then surrounded by the stroma. These glands have of course epithelium which secretes acid phosphatase as well as prostate specific antigen PSA. Now acid phosphatase is not that great in diagnosing prostate cancer. Why? Because acid phosphatase can be high in prostate cancer, prostatitis, as well as prostatic hypertrophy. So it's not specific for cancer. And of course, to diagnose cancer, you need a biopsy. But you can use acid phosphatase to monitor the response to treatment for prostate cancer. Let's leave the prostate and go to your muscles. So, muscle acid phosphatase is increased in cases of Pompe's disease. Now, let's discuss that. Pompe's disease is a problem with your heart and muscle. Your muscles are very weak in this disease. And acid phosphatase is a lysosomal enzyme. Then, this makes perfect sense because lysosomal enzymes destroy stuff. So they will destroy your muscles. This acid phosphatase will be high because it's an indicator of muscle destruction in cases of Pompe's disease. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now let's talk about Pompe's disease. It's a problem where you have cardiomegaly and hypotonia. So increased heart, decreased muscle. But cardiomegaly isn't that great because this is a hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is pretty good in pumping blood, but very bad in receiving blood. If the heart cannot receive blood, your blood will pool behind the heart, leading to congestive heart failure. And as you know, the famous mnemonic, Pompeys trashes your pump. There is a specific type of acid phosphatase known as tartrate-resistant acid phosphatase. We will discuss this in a separate video and it will be particularly important when you talk about hairy cell leukemia. And this brings us to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next video. Please consider subscribing, like me on Facebook, follow me on SoundCloud, and please consider supporting my page on Patreon where you will get early access to all of my videos before everybody else. Thank you so much for watching. It's Medicos Perfectionalis, where medicine makes a lot of sense.